donkey. It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes, donkey of the day for Friday, October 13th. Yes, it is Friday the 13th, but who gives a damn? Uh, it goes to a sheriff in Louisiana named Steve Prodder. Now, in the state of Louisiana, they have something called the Justice Reinvestment Package. It's a series of bills passed in June that could reduce Louisiana's prison population by 10% and save more than $260 million over the next decade by slowly releasing non-violent offenders. Okay, the legislation is set to go into effect on November 1st and would authorize the early release of 1,400 prisoners across 21 parishes in the state. All right, drop one of Clues Bombs for the Justice Reinvestment Package, please. That's a beautiful thing. Over 1,400 nonviolent offenders released from prison. I'm all for that. Well, Sheriff Stephen Prater is a sheriff for uh, the Cotto Parish, and 35 prisoners will be released immediately from his uh, parish, but that seems to be one too many for Steve Prater. Now, Steve Prater refers to nonviolent offenders as good ones, and I guess the violent offenders are the bad ones, and Steve Prater wants to keep some of the good ones instead of letting these nonviolent offenders move on with their lives. Let's hear why Sheriff Steve Prater wants to keep some of the good ones in prison. I don't want state prison. They are a necessary evil to keep the doors open that we keep a few or keep some out there. And that's the ones that you can work. That's the ones that can pick up trash, the work release programs. But guess what? Those are the ones that they're releasing. In addition to the bad ones, and I call these bad, in addition to them, they're releasing some good ones that we use every day to, to wash cars, to change oil in our cars, to cook in the kitchen, to do all that where we save money. Well, they're going to let them out. So even though these people have paid their debt to society, you want to keep them locked up because in your words, they wash your cars, change your oil, cook in your kitchen. Could someone tell this good old boy, Sheriff Steve Prater, that slavery officially ended on December 6, 1865? Now, I know the 13th Amendment of the Constitution abolishes slavery and involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime. So, yes, prisons are modern day slavery, but you can't keep me in prison just because you want free labor. Now, Marjorie Esman, executive director for the ACLU of Louisiana, told the Huffington Post that Sheriff Pratter's desire to keep prisoners purely for their free labor is essentially slavery. Duh. She goes on to say the purpose of the criminal justice system is to keep the community safe and to make sure that nobody is incarcerated any longer than necessary. It's certainly not to provide free labor for law enforcement. It is obviously not only ludicrous, but a gross violation of people's rights. In quotes, somebody needs to go to Sheriff Steve Prater's house and free his slaves. It's no doubt in my mind that he's got some indentured servants in his backyard tending to the tulips. I guarantee you go to his house right now. Ray and Claude from the movie Life is in his bathroom cleaning the toilets. This is why prisons will never, ever truly be correctional facilities because they aren't designed to actually correct someone. OK, instead of all that free labor they doing, let them take some college courses. Let them take a trade, things that will actually better them when they come home. Good old boys like Steve Prater want these prisoners to be locked up so his life can be better. When we should be trying to make the prisoners' lives better so when they are released back into society, they can take what they've learned in prison and make the communities better. Please give this modern-day slave master Steve Prater the biggest hee-haw, please. He got that cracker-ass cracker twang in his voice, too. All right. 